I'm with Bashar Akpanar, who's the founder and CEO of PI Works here at FutureNet Asia. And as founder and CEO of PI Works, could you tell us a little bit about your company and give us some insight into PI Works? Sure. Thank you for the opportunity. And uh, PI Works, we started the company back in 2005, 17 years ago. So time flies uh, with our mission and vision those times was to improve the customer experience for our customers of mobile operators and reduce their cost, capex, whether it is capex or opex. That was our main focus. And today, still, uh, it is. And in so far, we reached out uh, 45 countries around the world, from US to Philippines to Singapore and UK, and more than 60 operators operationally we are uh, they're using and getting benefit from our solution that is something we're proud of of course we want to continue this journey and thank you uh, FutureNet setting up such a meeting environment here and the conferences and back 17 years ago we couldn't imagine this because automation was hardly pronounced by uh, our customers or uh, ecosystem so now everybody talking about it and it's good to be here yeah. thank you yeah well you emphasize how pi works automates uh networks for superior customer experience how do you actually achieve this uh yeah this is a technology company obviously and uh, but technology without people not cannot be realized so imagine a human body so you have heart you have your brain, but you need your heart. We put people in the heart of our company where they create these intelligent technologies, whether it's automation, AI, and so forth. So we uh, focus on that. We always try to get best breed of people into company. We probably have the largest automation uh, company for mobile networks. We have around 400 people and growing over the years and more importantly they have experience in the many many different operators all around the world so that is the i think dna and our culture is really achieving these difficult goals challenging the status quo and making life better for at the end for the customers users and and that's our objective and in so far yeah we're doing that bad yeah yeah and we talk a lot about um, the role of network automation and AI in network modernization, as well as how intelligent automation is, is critical to leveraging market and service opportunities of new technologies like 5G. What's your view on this? And how do you see this playing out in the future? Yeah, uh, you know, this technology updates, upgrades over uh, 20 years from 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G. That always brings up new challenge, complexity for the operators to run their network and manage it properly. That's always a challenge. And with 5G, it will be additional challenge. And uh, whether it is because of spectrums, you know, the capacity requirements, and they need to reinvest again, and they need to do it smartly. So we have solutions, uh, including the smart planning, uh, how audit the network and find out the right spots for the 5G and optimizing them, making sure they use the every bits and pieces of their technology is being used. And uh, this will be, I think, what I see the operators now, they cannot really invest on the new uh, OPEX or CAPEX. CAPEX, they have to invest, but OPEX side, they have issues, so you need to run the network part, the legacy network, automatically. That, I think today, everybody agreed with that. So we have solution for that. We have operators like uh, tier one operators, these automation actions in a day around one million. So uh, no human being can handle that. And it works, you know, day and night, New Year time anytime uh, and they don't get sick the machine is just running so this uh, in 5g of course there will be new innovations with this and especially the you know open run and other uh, 
technologies is emerging. So it's kind of a you have to have this technology going forward. Mm -hmm. So automation is now exist working uh, for our customers in future will be much more important because 5G use cases like whether telemedicine, you know, now uh, car companies, car industry really rely on the 5G connectivity and all these areas need to be addressed and carefully taken care by the solution we built. Great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.